Do you hate it when you text somebody and try to see they okay, but they still know it answer your text? They see you text them, but they don't want to. They don't want to key to it. What about on Facebook when you message somebody? Cause you see them status and all your news be like five, sixteen, twenty times saying, "Man, cheating this. She's not a. She's not a choice." Uh, geez, no mistake. It's a choice. Yada la la la. And man, I I can't sleep. No, I can't sleep at all. So forth and so forth. Hi, Brian J. W. Twenty Three back again for another YouTube video. What's up? Happy Happy Fourth of July to everybody out there. Make sure to go ahead and say that ahead of time. Check out my previous video that is actually uh, going up on youtubecom slash Brian J. W. Twenty Three. And also, I'm going to make another YouTube video later on today. If not that, probably tomorrow. Back to the topic at hand. People that text message you or Facebook you or Twitter you, and they know that I'm fucking busy, but it seems like God dang time, they don't want to text you. Because, say for example, I'm not going to say her name, but she's an Asian chick on Facebook. Like 18 years old, I... Uh, Live in Midtown, like what, down the street from me, give or take, okay? I'm not gonna just, I'm not gonna say all her information, whatever she disclosed information, and also like I said, she's 18 years old, high school, Asian. That's all you need to know. And also live down the street from me in Midtown. <clears throat> Anywho, she met, she she sad, she upset, whatever. She's on Facebook. She said. Oh, cheating is not a choice. Uh, cheating is not a mistake. It's a choice, and I feel this, that, and the other, and so forth and so forth. All right, okay. Last one says, like what? Are we something in the morning? Like I can't sleep. Well, I can't sleep at all. I'm like, you know, being a better person, being a good person that I am. Let me talk to her. Let me see what she's all right. Okay. Earlier, let me, let me go ahead and pause there. Earlier this week, Monday, the job was looking on Facebook where I see her comment or status out of nowhere saying uh, her heart hurts and whatever and chest light up, so forth and so forth. And thank you for all the texts and likes and the comments and stuff like that about me at the hospital. I'm totally fine. Like, oh, okay, so she's good. So, I, you know, I messaged her like, hey, you know, um, hey, girl, what's up, you know? I didn't know you was in the hospital or whatever. I hope you're all right. You know what I'm saying? Hope you're okay. No response. At first, I'm like, okay, she's probably busy. She, she, she don't see it. All right, cool. Cool, cool. So, later on, waiting, waiting, nothing. All right, that's, that's, totally, that's totally cool. She's probably busy or whatever. Me on the hand, if you're not text back within the next hour or half that day, and you see the text, and you see the number, and you add that person, and you don't want to talk to that person, just say, I don't want to talk to you. That's all. They're like, okay, that's cool. Let me go ahead and get your number. Peace out. Hope you have a good uh, good day. Yada, la, la, la. May God be with you. Adios. That's the best way. That's the upper way. That That's the right road. Low road is not texting the not texting the person back at all. I, I hate that shit. Side the point. Facebook. I messaged her saying, hey, what's up? Are you okay? Nothing. I right, okay. Abby, nothing. And you just text us. Just like, oh, I can't sleep. I can't sleep at all four minutes ago. And I messaged you in two minutes ago. So how are you going to not see... My message, and I messaged you two minutes ago. And now I understand you're probably on the phone or you finally went to sleep when you put up that last status. That's understandable. But two minutes ago versus four minutes ago, they come back on the come back on the news feed and see you put some another status up after that for after that first four minutes. <sighs> Bitch, drink bleach. You not even you not even sleep. You're avoiding the peep, the person that's actually talking to you, seeing, trying try to see, are you okay? Are you all right? What's wrong? You need to talk to someone? 
I'm right here. Let's talk. Let's see what's going on. Let me help you out. Let me break that edge. Let me make you comfortable so you go to sleep. Make you feeling all peace and shit so you don't have to worry about what happened today. You don't have to worry. You don't have to continue thinking about your guy friend or your girlfriend that, that broke up with you or cheated on you or you broke up with them because that person going around and cheating shit. That's what I'm saying. That's why you got friends, bitch. That's why you people come out of nowhere and just message you like, oh, are you okay? What's wrong? Let's talk. Let's see what's happening. So forth and so forth. Understandable. That's what I want to do. Man, not every single last guy in the, in the state, in the city of Memphis, Tennessee, wants to get into your goddamn dirty-ass panties. Nobody want to get in your panties. They just want to see what's wrong, comfort you, make, make sure you're all right, make sure you don't try to do anything crazy, stupid, retarded, or suicide, anything. They just want to see if you're okay, check up on you, see you're all right. Congratulations on graduating. Congratulations on on a baby or your job or the new phone or your new car or your new house. Whatever. You don't need to not don't don't just like knock off a person because oh he's this age yada yada and he probably want to get in my panties whatever. Let me go ahead and like mm, forget him, ignore him, whatever. If that's the case, just go ahead and freaking delete people off of Facebook or off of Twitter or off of, uh, out of your phone if you don't want to talk to them. Like, uh, I don't want to talk to them, so I'm going to send them text back. They probably got my number like, hey, um, this is such and such, and you text me some of my time ago. Well, go ahead and delete my number because I, I don't want to talk to you, and it don't feel like it's working out or whatever. Whatever the case may be, just delete the freaking number. That's for both male and female parties. It doesn't freaking matter. If you have a problem with someone and you don't want to talk to no one, just say, hey, I don't feel like talking to you. So there you go. Or just say, hey, what's up? How you doing? I'm all right. How are you doing? No response? I don't know what to say. They answer your fucking text message. That's what I'm trying to say. I mean, because if you don't answer your goddamn text message and someone texts you seeing you all right, two, one of two things may come in their head. One, they busy or something, you know, they, they busy to the point they can't answer their phone. Also, then one, you probably at work. You can't answer your text message at, at this time because you probably – talking on the phone at work, doing some uh, ordering or doing some sales or making money, that's what's up. Or two, yeah, excuse me, or two, you probably did. And the person's like, fuck, this person's not even testing me back or calling me back. Is she all right? Or is he all right? What the hell? What's going on? You calling and texting, then I answer the phone. So I'm like, okay. So it's either one of two choices. One, they at work, they busy, they on the phone with someone else, they can't talk right now. They on a motorcycle driving, they can't reach right now because they motor they backpack is in their uh, not backpack. I mean they phones in their backpacks on their back while they riding like what 45, 60 miles out on a, on a uh, interstate or a neighborhood street with a motorcycle. Or two, they did. Me, I don't think they did. So I'm thinking all this. Or the final three hidden ones, they just don't want to talk to your ass. Bullshit. If you don't want to talk to one, just say, hey, I don't want to talk right now. Get your ass offline then. If you see a text, answer it. Like, hey, what's up? I don't feel like talking right now. It's cool. Don't say, oh, I'm busy, because that's a lot. Because no one will be busy, not no, not, not no damn 12 o'clock at night. Hell to the fuck no. Nobody be busy at 12 a.m. at night. Probably 12 p.m. in the afternoon. Nobody be sleepy or, or no, nobody be busy, what does that say, 5 o'clock in the afternoon. It's nothing to do. It's 5 o'clock in the afternoon. It's still fucking hot. Time going on and the price is starting to, 
That's all that. It's still, like I said, it's still hot, so nobody's going to do nothing. What the fuck? Text the person back. That'd be the smart way to do the grown-up way to do Don't be acting like no little-ass kid and like, oh, person that, oh, person talk to me, um, move over. Oh, 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 shit. It's my ex-boyfriend. I'm mad at him. Ah, let me go ahead and uh, text him. And, wow, this guy texting me again. Ask me, ah, hi. Fuck it. Hey, what's up? Uh, hey, what's up, sis? What's going on? Go to the next message. Like, what? Seriously? Talk to the people that are actually trying to help you. Because sometimes folks that are actually trying to help you, they really want to help you. They don't want to mess with you. They don't want to get in your panties or in your, in your uh, know your bra size or getting their dicks wet, whatever. Not many people want to do that. That's the, that's the difference between people now and people then. Me, I'm a, person, I'm a person that was then. I see and look out for people, family and also friends. If I don't know you, guess what? I'm still going to look out for you. I'm still going to talk to you. I'm still going to ask you how your day, how you doing. Not Joey from Friends, how you doing, but the Brandon J.W., how you doing? How you doing? How you feeling today? Are you all right? That's the part I'm going to do. That's the part I, that's the part I always do. So, ladies, guys, that thinking with their one head, or for females thinking with their one mouth, or speaking through their one mouth, don't let that overtake you. You may be cuter than a bitch, but at the same exact time, your cuteness will fade, your age will catch up to you, and your looks all gone away. Then what? Brother Jake Dove 23, send a sign out. Like, comment, share with your friends. Subscribe to me. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter. I'll see y'all next time. Hope y'all having a great 4th of July. Be blessed, everyone. Bye.